What if I were to tell you last month I made $5,000 without mowing any grass, without having any of my guys mowing grass, and almost completely passive? You'd probably think I'm in a different industry than lawn care because typically in lawn care, that's not possible. Well, I hate to break it to you, I just did that last month and I made $5,000 with probably two, three hours of input. Hey, my name is Chase Gray from Grow Landscaping and if any of you guys don't know me yet, I have a lawn care company here in Tampa, Florida that does about 300 grand a year. And I make videos on YouTube to help people get to six figures and help people make enough money to be able to invest and be able to do other things in their life. So before I even get into this process of what I just did, I wanna tell you guys again, and I've told you guys this in previous videos, hard work is not what makes you a lot of money in this industry, it's working smart, having systems, knowing what to do. The more knowledge I've gained in this industry, it seems like the more money I made a lot easier. Now if I were to go back to right when I started, give me two months and I'll already be making 10 grand. But the reason I actually try to figure out this method is because I was just sick and tired of working. I was sick and tired of having to manage a bunch of people. The only way for me to make more money is either for me to go work or for me to manage more people or for me to try to grow the business and hire middle management. And I'm not really trying to do that. I don't think this business is high enough leverage to the point where it's worth the stress of growing it to that size. It's a lot more work than a lot of other industries that you could do to get the exact same result. But this led me to trying to figure out ways to make more money. And what I actually ended up doing was creating a basic system where I am basically Angie's list or home advisor. I have leads that I get and I give those leads to a different guy and I get a commission for giving him that lead. Obviously, if you're talking about something small scale, this doesn't work, but I do this with big projects. So I'm gonna make it simple for you guys and make five steps that you could just follow to get this exact same result. Step one, you're gonna have to figure out what services you don't wanna do. Not services that you do, what you don't wanna do. If you don't like doing sod, this is gonna be something that you can market for. If you're smart, you're probably gonna pick services that are a little bit more skilled, AKA more stress on you. Step two, you're gonna find local providers who provide that specific service. So say for example, you don't do AstroTurf, you don't do sod, you don't do big retaining walls, you don't do paver patios, you don't do any of that. You're gonna find those providers, those exact guys who do those services. And these are gonna be the guys that you're gonna to have to call and explain what you're trying to set up. Any provider who's in this industry is going to want to do this setup because it's free leads for them. They're gonna to have to pay for the lead regardless. You're just giving it to them. You're just basically doing the work for them. Step three, you're gonna put out some form of low cost marketing. So what I did in the beginning was I put out yard signs and I just basically put a bunch of yard signs and yeah, it costs money, but the commissions check out and you actually start making a lot more money and profit than it did cost you. I'd recommend starting with 100 yard signs. They should run you about $400 if you buy them from using marketing. I don't know the prices from everywhere else, but that's what I buy mine. Put these yard signs out and just wait for calls to roll in. Step four, when you get these calls, you're gonna send them to the other provider. You're basically gonna tell the customer, hey, we're actually booked out right now, but we do have a partner that we do work with who also supplies the same service. Just so we ever end up in a scheduling issue, we can defer work to each other and we basically work together. The key is once your partner closes the deal, he needs to send you your referral fee immediately. He doesn't wait till he finishes the job and gets everything paid. He sends you your referral fee once the job closes. Can he scam you and can he say, oh, I didn't close it and do the job? Yes, but say for example, that happened twice in a row and you can probably assume he has not done it. You could just say, okay, I'm not gonna work with this guy. I'm not getting money from him and switch. That's it. You don't have any discussions. You don't have to do this. This is for his benefit. So if you're not there, he has to figure out how to get his own leads. Step five is literally just rinse and repeat. Just keep doing this, bro. And you're going to make money. I made a literal bag in like three hours by just putting out yard signs, referring to the other people, bam, get paid by them. And it's making me money. When I tell you this is the easiest way to make money in lawn care, I mean, it's the easiest way to make money in lawn care. I don't have to sit there out there sweating my ass. I don't have to do anything. I can make money by being the middleman. Maybe this is not what you're gonna do full time and maybe you do wanna grow a business, but then you still might as well do this with any additional leads that you do get. You can still make money if someone asks for sod and you don't supply sod. You can create this system so you can make money off every single person who walks in your door. Hey man, I'm just the messenger. I'm just teaching you guys how to come up on a bag. I did it, so it's proof in the pudding. 
I'm gonna keep doing it because hey, this is the easiest money I've made in this industry. But I also have a theory of how you could actually take this to the next level. If you were able to work one-on-one -on -one directly with another company and basically start a Google profile through their address in any part of the world through a phone call, and they were on the same page and you split these commissions 50-50, hey, that's free money. You don't have to do anything. You actually help them. You can probably even take commissions throwing them their own leads. That's just an idea. I haven't tried that yet, but that's a way to bring it outside of your location base. Guys, remember, I do post content on my Instagram if you guys want more daily type content. And then also, before I head out, I want to let you guys know that, you know, I'm pretty sure this is pretty obvious to, you know, everyone. But I just want to announce it that, you know, sulkies are, are better than stand-ons. And it's never going to come close that stand-ons are better. Peace. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah, it's worth it. If you're strong enough.